contrary to what many people think, the rules of successful investing are actually very simple. Diversify, keep your costs low, and focus on the very long term. Two of those things are easy to do, but the third, taking the long view, can be anything but. When the markets have been going down and down, we naturally want to focus on the here and now. Bear markets are a test, a very stern test of investor emotions. So when we go through a bear market, when we see losses in our portfolio, when we see bad news about the economy, about financial markets, um, then we feel anxiety, we feel worry, we feel panic. And what that does, it dramatically contracts our time horizons. So for a long-term investor, in a bear market, we're not thinking about the value of our portfolio 20 years hence. We're thinking about what's happening to our portfolio right now. And that the easiest thing we can do to relieve that stress and that worry is to sell our risky investments, to, to sell our stocks or to sell our corporate bonds, because that removes and alleviates the worries and stresses that we're feeling. So the greatest temptation um, through a bear market is to re remove that worry, remove that short-term pain, um, but to a great long-term cost. Another problem is that the temptation to sell your stocks increases the longer a bear market continues. The point at which investors are most pessimistic is the worst possible time to capitulate. So what does Joe Wiggins recommend? I think there's a couple of pieces of important behavioural advice for bear markets. One is to, to go into investing in risky assets with our eyes open. Now it's impossible to replicate how we'll feel during a bear market, but at least if we know if we're investing in equities for the long term, we're likely to go through a number of periods where there'll be significant declines and bear markets. So if we have expectations of that happening, then we're less likely to make bad decisions when it does occur. I think during bear markets, it becomes ever more important to try and shut yourself off from the noise, the negativity, and from the willingness or desire for us to check our portfolio consistently. Because again, every time we do that, we're creating decision points, decision points where we think, well, if we just sell this and all this stress and anxiety I'm feeling, I can remove that, um, even though it might make things far worse in terms of meeting my, my long run objectives. You should also remember that in general, bear markets are a good time to invest. In the words of the legendary investor Warren Buffett, it can pay to be greedy when others are fearful. During bear markets, we like to see equities fall and equity valuations improve because markets are getting cheaper. So long run expected returns are generally increasing when markets decline. So over for long term investors, that makes it a more attractive time to invest. The problem is that it's exactly the time that we don't want to be investing because we're feeling so negative and pessimistic and short term. Why would we invest in markets when they're, when they're falling? The best route to dealing with this and trying to exploit that opportunity is to try and make sensible, systematic investment decisions and plans. So before we're in that emotional state of a bear market, if we're investing regularly into markets on a monthly savings plan, for example, then it takes that decision point away from us and allows um, a systematic decision to make unemotional decisions into what might be attractive times for long-term investors. But to finish, a word of warning. Even if you're buying stocks that have substantially dropped in value, they may well have further to fall. No one can predict the markets in the short term.